It is an unusual combination, patients, pets, and prisoners. But a special nonprofit has been coming together for Colorado for nearly a decade. Health Specialist Kathy Walsh joins us with more on the, I love this, the Stink Bug Project. Uh, yeah, you That's hear that, right. Kathy, and you think one thing, but in this case, yeah, it's something it's completely... Really, it's a metaphor for chemotherapy, you know, the yucky stuff. Yeah. Anyway, the nonprofit was started by a young cancer patient and is still going strong. It has given the gift of canine companionship to nearly 100 children with serious medical conditions. He's family. He's a beautiful black lab mix. A 103-pound gentle giant. Mogul, a.k.a. Mogi, is a rescue dog. He rescued the Fisher family. Truly, like, this dog has been life-changing. Especially for Jude. The six-year-old was born with Prader-Willi syndrome, a rare genetic disorder. Talking or walking or running um, are quite a challenge for Jude. And the syndrome causes an insatiable appetite. And the first thing on his mind was, I'm going to spell it, F-O-O-D. Jude now is very active. He walks the dog, sometimes in the house, <laughs> sometimes with two leashes. Jude got Mogi from the Stink Bug Project, a nonprofit that pairs sick children with companion dogs. Yeah. Today, Jude met the founder of Stink Bug. What do you like best about Mogi, Jude? He's doing a really good job. I like Mogi. Allison Wynn was nine and recovering from a brain tumor when she got Coco, a pup trained by inmates in a program at Colorado prisons. I just thought it would be fun to give dogs to other kids to make them feel better. In nine years, Stinkbug has matched nearly 100 kids and prisoner trained canines. This is hard for me to believe. Allison is happy she's helped so many. She made a new friend today and met a stink bug family forever grateful for the big black dog they call a blessing. Allison is 18 now and she's headed to college in the fall. The Stink Bug Project is now a program of Rocky Mountain Children's Health Foundation, which pays for those canine adoptions. If you'd like to donate, we have a link at cbsdenver.com. That 18-year-old has made a huge impact. She's amazing. This yeah. is the third time that I've spoken with her, and every time I think, oh, it can't be, still be going, right. she kept it going and going and then got involved with other people and raised money. She even makes dog biscuits and sells them. <laughs> She's something else. I love that story. Beautiful. Thanks, Kathy.